through it. Shit, that's these angles are too acute here. That would cause me problems later on, which I don't want. around that a bit more. Go, let's put the net back. And I want to put a split on that. worked that one in. Maybe a little bit too much geometry under there now. For what there needs to be. Um, I'll perhaps make a decision to come back and clean that up a bit later. So getting quite detailed. Something I can do at this stage is actually I'll just put uh, I'll just put this guy's horns on that I wanted. If you remember, I was going to put them around here. Extrude being the command, I'm going to use a lot for this one. So I'm going to switch to universal using keyboard Q because I'm going to do a lot of rotating and moving. And reshaping, so it's just all done. Okay, just tweaking. in between the different modes actually. Just finish it off. 
for one more extrude. basis of his horns done that with just the extrude command which worked out quite well. If I want to start refining any of these edges select the ones that I want to work on and use slide which is control X and that will slide it up and down the line of faces like so same with to see that. Oops. Got them all. And if I use create bevel, that is one way of creating areas of detail. I'm not going to use it on that. I was I was thinking of using it for smaller horns here but I'm going to carry on refining first of all. So if I go to soft selection, um, this is a tool that's been around in quite a few versions you can see. Uh, the vertices that I'm highlighting is red and then fading off to orange all the way around. If I roll the mouse forward that increases the selection area, roll it back and it decreases the selection area. That's actually an area of influence. So, if I just go in tweak mode, so if I just hold down control while I do it, and then I move that central over, so you can see how it tweaks all the area around. If I increase the area of influence and do it, you can see that goes higher. So straight away, you can see where this is going to be useful in getting the positioning of all these parts right, so we've got a lot of the flow right, the edge flows right, not all right yet, but I'm just showing you what we can do, uh, and now we're using soft selection in its various sizes, and it doesn't just work in vertices mode, it works in face mode as well. Edge mode. So by using a combination of these, we can reposition virtually every part of this little fella into the shape that I originally wanted him to be. Very important as I've stressed all the way along to get if your edges are right at this point, this isn't going to be anything. You'll, you'll end up doing this quite a lot, but if your edges are wrong now, all this tweak, all the tweaking in the world is not going to improve. We'll get, get, get the model right. So spend the time getting it right early on. No detail in these ears yet, we might as well place them. that quite a bit because I think with these horns I can afford to just change the size a little bit. Just 
tweaking it as I go. Come out of that. Back on to just adjusting things, seeing all the vertices. So let's just do some work on this forehead and just show you some ways of other ways of adding detail. Um, common to a lot of packages again, really. So let's just put this along here. Take that bit more again, so it's further out of the way. So one thing that we can do is um, to add localized detail. Get into face mode. Select a certain amount of faces that you want to use, like so. Split once, split twice. Faces there and split them as well. Terminating the air because I'm going to do some work in there. But where we've got this polygon here, you can see this has effectively got one, two, three, four, five, six edges there. So all we do now is we join them up to give me a quad and a quad. before which is the slide slide it nearer to that and then I'm gonna in oops I go a bit too early then I'm just gonna slide it in like so so that becomes a crease forehead crease I'm gonna do the same again there are quicker ways of doing this, but I'm showing you one way to add localised detail. Split him again. Twice. So, same story down here. We're just going to, slightly different way, connect those two. Gives me quad and a quad. No great issues there. Bring that up just to reduce the amount of effect. And then, same story, select those edges. This way. And just round it off now. Some wrinkles in this forehead we need. So 
So same story, I'm gonna split up here. I'm gonna terminate it there. I'm gonna give myself a bit of geometry there to so round that area off and lose those first two triangles. in here. No, slightly different way of doing it. So I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to connect that. 